Okay, in the second video, we're going to take a look at dimensioning these mass um, blocks that we created in the first video. And so, make sure that you save your file and call it whatever the assignment is for your class, online or on campus. Okay, so in order to see our dimensions a little bit clearer, I'm going to go ahead and change from conceptual to hidden. Hidden. Now, you have a choice of using hidden or sketchy. This worksheet has actually two pages, and this is posted online and given to you on the online class. We changed our units to architectural. We have a scale factor of 48, which is a quarter of an inch equals a foot. We did already update our dimensions with the overall scale of 48 and a few other settings that we changed. We're going to create a viewport and print in either hidden or sketchy so that you can actually see your dimensions. Okay, so in this class we learned first that at the bottom there's a tool in the status bar that looks like an L shape. The icon looks like an L shape with the lightning bolt. It's called allow and disallow um, dynamic UCS. That icon allowed us to temporarily rotate this UCS icon so that the XY working plane was on a face. And then we took a look at going to the view tab and using some of these coordinates if you wanted to put the UCS icon on the face so that it stayed there you could use here this option face and what that does is when you click on it you go to a face and click on it and then press enter and it stays on that face but an even better way now is to click on the UCS icon so that you have it highlighted and then click inside the the box that represents the origin or where the three X, Y, and Z's come together. And as you pull your mouse around this detail, you'll see that it kind of rotates to whatever face that you'd like to dimension. So let's go ahead and, for instance, um, dimension this, this, this side right here. I'll go ahead and click and then it just stays there, right? So I'm looking for this 8 foot dimension. If I go to the annotate tab and I dimension the side here, you'll see that it will be drawn correctly with this face. And so I'll go ahead and use the same type of dimension for this two foot dimension from the back face to the ridge. You may have to click on it, click inside here the grip that's close to the text so that you can pull the two feet uh, number out like we did with uh, the other projects. We were able to pull that text over where we wanted it to be placed and so the concept is that you click on the UCS icon you click in the box and you come over to the face making sure you're on the face sometimes the object snaps pull you underneath so when I click here I'm going to hold my shift key down and press the wheel of my mouse just to see yes I am on that face and I am um, going to ask you to put this 12 foot dimension right on this face instead of here in the back like it's shown in this in this handout and also the same thing here with um, this 20 foot dimension I'll pick this UCS icon up and put it on this face because now I want to dimension here. Oh, that's another thing. You see how the dimension is upside down? It's upside down because X, the direction of X is not 
in the direction of the text where we want it. So you can click on the small little ball that's close to the x axis and pull it around so that it's lined up here in the direction that we want the text. And now when I place this dimension, the 20 feet will be um, in the right direction. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. I can select it, right click, and pick erase. Okay, so sometimes you have to use the small blue balls that are at the end of these um, coordinate that are at the end of this UCS icon to rotate it into place to get the text to go in the right direction. So here I'm going to place it on this face and then dimension here the 11 feet. So you can go ahead and start to dimension this detail just by clicking here and placing this UCS icon on the face and then dimension here's your 8 foot dimension. The only one that's a little bit different, oh no, I guess you can click on it you can go here and then I'm okay with you placing the 9 feet right here. Oh, uh, you see what it did? The reason it did that is if I hold my shift key down and press the wheel of my mouse, you see it didn't end up on the face. The object snap pulled me here away from the face, so I can click here, click on this, and just I'll, I'll pull it away from any object snaps and click, and then kind of verify, yes, I am, am on that face. And now when I dimension here, this 9 foot dimension, it will be uh, more in line with what I need. Now the 4 foot dimensions right on the, the base here are actually uh, the world coordinates or the coordinates that came with uh, with AutoCAD. So if I go back to the Home tab, there is a panel here called Coordinates. You can find that small world icon, the UCS world icon right there if you click on it. You see how it goes back to XY being kind of that base um, plane that we've been we've been using for all of our 2D objects. Now if I go back to annotate and use dimensions I can place here this four foot dimension there and here and it's the same thing over here too with the one foot. Here I have to use grips to pull the one foot over on the other side. and then I have six feet here. Okay, so this is a, a quick way of placing dimensions on your 3D model. We only have a few more to do, so I'll go ahead and show you these dimensions. There's the 8 feet. Sometimes the object snaps get in your way. You have to kind of move your mouse out of out of the picture. You can bring it way over here in space if you want just to you know, place that 8 foot dimension and you can you can put it here or there either way. There is one more here. I can place this one 6 foot right here. Okay, so now I need to change this to uh, this face here. And I'm ready to dimension straight down. I have a four foot dimension here. And another four foot dimension here. I'll pick up this UCS icon and put it here on this face 
because I have a dimension here of 8 feet. Okay, <clears throat> so I have a few more to do, but I think you you get the idea. This one, because this, these are small pieces, I'm going to go ahead and put it away over here. Let me just hold my shift key down and make sure I'm on that edge, right? Now I can dimension this two feet. And this three feet. Okay, so I had a few more dimensions to work on. You can save your file. And I think it's a good idea to go back to the Home tab and pick up in the Coordinates panel the World here Coordinates so that you're back here at the XY working plane at the, being on the base. And then go to the View Cube and go to here the Southeast Isometric View. Now at this point, it looks good, but if you want to hold your Shift key down and kind of rotate it a little bit, to show the dimensions in a, in a good way, you can do that too. In this assignment, we won't create a layer called Viewport. What we'll do is, let's go to the Layout 1, and then what we can do is we can put the Viewport line outside of the margins. So this hidden line right here represents the margin on my paper. So I can click on the Viewport, this box here, click inside the blue grips and just bring it slightly to the outside outside of the dash line just slightly outside of the dash line some people actually use the viewport border as their sheet border if you double click inside the viewport then you see how you have control over um, the scale if it's a quarter of an inch equals a foot we should be able to hear use this menu at the bottom right corner and click a quarter of an inch equals a foot. Now some of your dimensions might go outside of the margin and if they do then you can go ahead and use a different scale but if you can get it in there at a quarter of an inch then leave it like that. You can even lock it. There's a small lock here some of your dimensions might be too far out. If they are, then just use the roll, roll the wheel of your mouse until you get to a good uh, view. And and you can even use um, you can even use here the hidden or sketchy. If you use sketchy, it's got kind of a nice architectural look to it. Also, it's your choice. You do kind of lose some lines because it is kind of a sketch. So I'll double click now outside of the paper and now I can put my text right here in the paper, right here. I'll go ahead and go to the annotate tab, pick multi-line text and I can click here, pull my mouse across and click. If you can't get into this text box, it could be that you're inside the viewport. You'll need to double click out here in the gray space so that you can get out of that hole that's in the paper, that viewport. And so here I can say assignment and then whatever number you're using for your detail. If you did here uh, fit it within the quarter inch scale, then go ahead and put a quarter of an inch equals a foot one foot zero inches for your scale. If you decided that your dimensions were too far out and you just use the wheel of your mouse to kind of adjust the scale then don't put the scale equals to a quarter of an inch equals a foot. Let's go ahead and highlight uh, the assignment title and underline it and then click out in the AutoCAD screen. I'm going to um, highlight this and just hold my left mouse button down and drag and drop it a little bit further over to kind of center it. Okay, there is your final assignment. And please don't hesitate to keep in touch with me. Several students did very well in this class. We still have 
another week until the end of the semester to work with this assignment. So please don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help or if you have any questions.